Well, first, let me say how excited we are to be here. Uh, when we got to the point that we were bowl eligible, we were, we were hoping we were going to get to stay here and play at home uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, two years ago, we got to play in this game. I wasn't the head coach at the time, but we got to play in the game. And I've been lucky, like Bronco has, I've been lucky to be uh, in several bowl games. And the way we're treated here and uh, the whole bowl experience is as good or better than any other bowl game I've ever been at. Uh, I mean, and like Bronco said, San Diego's a wonderful place. Why would you want to go anyplace else? But more, more than that, we were treated, and if you all remember, uh, two years ago it was the rain game. I mean, so we didn't even get to do half the activities that were planned for us, but our team had a great time, and we were treated so nice and treated so well leading up to the game that our team wanted to come back. And when that happened, our team was so excited about being able to play here. Uh, I think that everybody was overjoyed that we're getting to play in this game. Uh, the other the other factor is uh, we get to play BYU. And uh, BYU is a great football team, a great program, and they have a great coach. Uh, all you have to do is watch them play, and uh, they are a talented football team, but that's not what's impressive. You watch them play, they play with great energy, they play with great enthusiasm. And Bronco was nice to say we were we were a physical team. Well, guess what? Uh, they're a physical team too. That might be because we're both defensive guys and we're both head coaches and we, we love defense and maybe that's where that comes from, I don't know. Now, Bronco and I, uh, they're not many close friends in coaching and I consider Bronco one of my close friends and we have some skeletons in our closet together that we're not going to talk about and we're just going to be really nice to each other. Now, um, Bronco and I have been on the same sideline and had various successes. We've been on opposite sidelines, and he's had a whole lot more success than I have in those situations. Uh, so I think our team's excited about playing. They, they know it's going to be a very physical football game. And if you're those kind of people that like how football used to be played, uh, it'll be one of those games where there's a bunch of, there's 22 kids on the field at any one time flying around and trying to get after one another. I mean, for me, that's, that's the way the game's supposed to be played, and it's a lot of fun to be involved in a game like that. But, uh, you know, I, we're, we're happy to be here. We're excited about the game. Uh, we're going to enjoy the lead up to the game, and then we'll go out there and see what happens. Questions for Coach Long. Coach, what did you see in Coach Brendan Hall when you first hired him? <laughs> That's a delicate question. That, that is a very <laughs> delicate question because that might even bring out some of those skeletons. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bronco from day one is a very detailed guy. Very, very detailed, uh, relates with the players very well, gets the very most out of the players. Uh, will work long hours to make things right, but at the same time coaches with great enthusiasm, great energy, and, and his team, you'll, you'll watch his team, his team emulates his personality. Uh, it was a sad day uh, when he was our defense coordinator in New Mexico. It was a sad day he went to BYU. Uh, because uh, BYU was one of the good teams in the league at that time, and they just got better when they got him. And the smartest move they made was to make him the head coach when the possibility came. Uh, the smartest thing they did was make him the head coach. I was hoping, that, honest with you, I was hoping they wouldn't. But uh, they did, and we're here, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> coach, how much of your philosophy and kind of football principles do you see in, in this year's BYU team? Other than being very physical and playing hard, I, I don't think we have the same philosophies. Um, we're a little bit different on offense. Uh, we're a lot different on defense. And I, I think that shows what a great coach Bronco is. He went, he went to BYU and saw that it wasn't the same, same kind of players that we were running with at New Mexico at the time. Uh, and I didn't know how he determined that. Uh, he just told me today. He went and looked at all the kids in the, in the pros from BYU, and they're all front seven guys. So as all smart coaches do, he made the adjustment to use that as a strength, and that's why they're so good on defense.